hype. You've heard this word being thrown around very commonly because it's what the world runs on right now. But the car that I'm reviewing today, when it got launched, it gained a lot of hype because of its potential and because what it was replacing. The Gypsy was replaced by this, the Jimny, many, many years later. But it got the hype because the Gypsy was such a legendary car. Its tuning potential was also highlighted when it was launched. And today, Sixth Mile Customs has finally been able to reach and come with the final form of what you can expect from the Jimny. And this is India's first supercharged Jimny. And I'm here to talk all about it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Autoculture. And let's talk all about the Sixth Mile Customs supercharged Jimny. Objective and personally, I really like the way this Jimny looks. The stock Jimny is rather feminine, which can drive some people off, but this one looks really mean. And that's one good thing about the Jimny, it's very easy to customize it to look the way you want it to. And that's exactly what Six Mile Custom has done. They've made it look like an absolute badass car. Uh, starting from the front, they've used a aluminum bumper, which looks very nice. It's got integrated fog lamps in them. There's a winch on top of it and auxiliary lights. The grill has also switched to a gloss black grill. They painted it gloss black, making it look a little bit more premium. And even the uh, cladding all over has been painted black, so that it looks fancier and it has a better finish. The wheels are now method wheels, which are tough and look very nice. You've also got a roof rack uh, for more added practicality if you need to carry a lot of luggage. And moving on towards the rear, you'll notice that it's got twin exhausts, which sound fantastic. Overall, the boxy small design of the Jimny has always been very practical. And you could say that it is bland, but again, the best thing about the Jimny is that you can make it look however you want. So if it looks bad now, it doesn't mean that it needs to look bad later. Time to address the elephant in the room. This 1.5 litre naturally aspirated longitudinally mounted engine now gets the gift of forced induction through a Bullet Supercharger. Uh, Bullet Supercharging is a company from Australia and uh, they have basically given the intercooling parts which is the water to air cooler and the intercooler as well. The headers are also made by Bullet uh, and the entire pulley system as well. So as you can see, the pulley is right here. This is the water to air cooling system and the diverter valve is right here. You've also got a fifth injector for a little bit more oomph and the battery has also been increased. In terms of intake, you do get uh, exposed intake, an air filter right here, which should be able to take in more air. And uh, the exhaust from the header out, basically the mid pipe and the uh, end can are from Mr. Raj Hingorani, who is very, very adept and has made this car sound fantastic. In terms of power, it has gone from, I think, 100 bhp to around 130-ish horsepower, which doesn't sound like a lot, but the pulley is not in its... Uh, most aggressive setup and the supercharger is not as tightly sprung as you would expect it. So it still has quite a lot of turbocharger traits like the extra boost is all available at the top but it definitely feels like a different engine. I'm pretty sure that you've noticed that this car is rather taller compared to the 
stock jimny and that's because it houses india's first uh, tough dog suspension that has been specifically specced for five door jimnies otherwise there are been other options that have only been for two door jimnies but this suspension accounts for the extra weight and wheelbase that comes from the five door and in terms of performance it is very nice it doesn't actually bother you it's very it's much better than the stock suspension in terms of undulations and uh, dampening the road so i've had a really good time driving it till here but i've not pushed it so i think that's exactly what we should do and see what the engine is like to drive The Jimny as a car to drive is the most no nonsense car that you can ever drive in the city. You don't need to worry about speed bumps. The road clearance is fantastic and even the way to drive it, the clutch is super light, the throttle is rather numb in stock form. So it you can just basically just use it as a switch on switch off button and you've only got 100 bhp. So it's not like it's going to be going anywhere uh in a rush. However, this specific car has completely changed in terms of engine behavior the rev line is just so much more happier to go all the way up and uh, the supercharger since it isn't as tight as it could be the surge of power is still up in the rev range so up till 3 3200 rpm you're not going to be getting quite a lot of that extra oomph but switch maybe go down a gear reach the band feel it come a bit more alive when it comes to handling yes it still has quite a lot of roll but this suspension is not meant to be thrashed on a canyon like this i in fact when you go over road surfaces that are just basically impossible to go at high speeds it just irons them out like no problem i can go over speed bumps with no issue it just becomes a very non intrusive car for you you just need to point the car wherever it needs to go wherever you wish to go and it will just basically go there as long as there's no obstruction of course when you do start to push the car yes you do feel like the power is pretty sufficient at the top end but you're going to be having to reach that top end as you can see now that's where i get the power and it becomes something that's actually picking up pace at a good decent pace yes however it's not like a turbocharger where the bottom range is completely mute and then once the turbo spools you are given that extra surge of power everything is super linear and very progressive which makes it rather confidence inspiring and the duality of two cars is not there you're just having a fun car pretty much all the time the clutch when depressing and re releasing it is a little numb but in the higher gears it is perfectly fine and another thing that i really enjoyed is the way this car sounds there's no pops and bangs and crackles of any sort but the rumble and the way the drone slips into the cabin is very sporty and it's really aggressive so it is a very immersive experience too to relax inside the cabin it is a very nice place to be in yes it is utilitarian and quite basic filled with plastics but you're paying 15 16 lakh rupees for a car you can't expect it to be 
covered in leather plus it's an off road car so it's going to have to be able to take quite a lot of a beating even on the inside so everything is in place you have a rather large screen in front of you which is easy to use and the sound system has been upgraded in this so it is quite a nice experience to listen to music and chillax the drone of the engine could be a little bit of an issue since the header uh, in this car makes quite a bit of noise but you are not going to be missing out on anything you've got uh, android auto apple carplay decent speakers uh, steering wheel mounted con uh, controls and it's a nice car it's as good as a modern car can get the owner has fitted a couple of cool things inside the cabin also like a quad lock phone mount which i don't understand because it's got a massive screen in front of you with apple carplay and android auto and you've also got these overhead auxiliary light buttons which are super cool just to use because you need to press a button on top of you as any geeky kid would love to just press overhead buttons when it comes to the brakes i think that would be the next most sensible upgrade for this car since uh it's still running on a stock setup the br the braking power itself is sufficient it is pretty fine for the amount of power the car is still making but i do feel like it doesn't have that feedback that you would expect while pressing the brakes down in terms of a uh, pedal travel it is quite long and it is a little inconsistent it's not a problem in the city but if you're going to be pushing the car a little bit which you will since you've spent so much money on uh bringing it up to this spec you would like a little bit of reassurance from the brakes which it does it does kind of lack so i have found myself uh using the engine braking quite a lot so that i get a little bit more feedback in terms of stopping power but yeah if you slam on the brakes the car will break but it just doesn't feel uh very reassuring in the simplest of words And now that I've opened the can of worms about price, let's talk a little bit about that. It is an expensive car to build mechanically. Yes, this supercharger kit is pretty much half the price of the car and it in fact that's very expensive for a car of this caliber. So, yeah, you're going to have to be ready for it if you really want it and you're going to have to commit because it's not like anybody is developing a supercharger in india or are they after spending a fair share of time with the supercharger jimny i am fairly impressed the car has turned completely into a peppy a uh, powerful car that is lively to drive and also very capable off road i have always had the thought that if you don't need the extra space and umph save your money don't buy a thar and just pick up a jimny because it is just that capable and when it comes to bringing it up to its full potential there is so much aftermarket uh, support for it that you will never have any problem in terms of aesthetics or even in terms of performance now yes it is an expensive car to build especially in terms of mechanics the supercharger is pretty much half the price of the car and if you have a stomach for it look no further because the car completely changes behavior however for a 30 40 bhp increase which is again 30 40% quite a lot it's still not going to be a world of a difference but if you really appreciate the way the engine behaves you're going to love how peppy this block is that's it from my side do let us know what are your thoughts on the jimny would you supercharge your jimny and if you've not seen the other videos of the jimny do check out our channel and see all the other cool content that we've got in store for you Thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy Bhavneet. I'll see you guys in the next one.